I remember when I used to have problems and every time I had a major problem in my life, I would go and pray to God to deliver me out of that problem. And it's like the Holy Spirit started telling me and showing me like the Lord was saying, had you have been praying to me before this happened, you wouldn't even need to pray to me about this problem. That would have prevented the problem from happening. So a lot of times, a lot of us are like this. We'll go to God and we'll pray when we're in the middle of a problem. But a lot of times, if we pray to God before the problem happens, we wouldn't even experience that problem. What God wants us to do is have a relationship with him, a relationship that involves prayer. And prayer opens the door for God to intervene in our lives. When you pray, because Jesus Christ told us in the Bible to pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And so when we pray according to what Christ told us to pray like in the Bible, we allow God access to our life on a daily basis. When we're praying, we're constantly allowing the kingdom of heaven to come down and intervene on our behalf. Imagine. Let's say you, you, when you go driving in a car, you put on your seatbelt. If you're driving in a car, you're going to wear your seatbelt, right? Just in case you get into an accident. You're going to wear a helmet when you're on your motorcycle to protect yourself. It would be, it would be absurd, basically, or I would say counterproductive to put on the seatbelt after you have the accident or to put on a helmet after you have a motorcycle crash. That's basically what God is showing us when it comes to prayer. Prayer should not only be something that you pray to get yourself out of trouble, but prayer is a preventative measure. Just like taking vitamins, people take vitamins so they can be, you know, healthy. You, you, you take precautions to prevent things from happening. So when we pray to God, it's supposed to be a way not only to, to, to show thanks, because prayer can be for a lot of different things. But a lot of times when people pray, they only pray when they want something. And God wants us to pray to allow him access to our lives on a daily basis. This gives him the opportunity to intervene on our behalf. And many of you might think, oh, God has access to our life because we're born again. No, God wants you to pray. He wants you to have a relationship with him. It's like a close friend. When you're talking to your friend on a daily basis or you're talking to your loved one, you know what's going on in their lives. You're able to talk to them and, and understand them. You're able to know what's going on in their lives just in case there's something happening. And the same way with God, he wants us to invite him in our lives. He wants us to talk to him ahead of time and give him, give him access to our lives so that he can fix out and work out any problem. Because a lot of times when I would pray to God, he would let me know something. He would tell me something. I would get like a word of knowledge. Like the Holy Spirit would just minister into my mind and tell me, hey, this is about to happen or do this. And when we pray, the Holy Spirit could come in now and tell us things that we might not have been aware of. And it's like we can now have clues. We can have, you know, information that will prevent us from getting ourselves to a certain trouble. It can help us, you know, alleviate ourselves from getting to that trouble. We can maneuver certain things if, if you know there might be something that the enemy sets up because a lot of times the enemy is setting up things on our lives on a daily basis, especially if you're doing, you're walking in God's will and you're, 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 you're doing something that the enemy doesn't like and you're going against his kingdom. He's going to be out here trying to attack you. And so this is why God tells us in the Bible, he says to pray without ceasing because when we're praying without ceasing, we're allowing God to have access. We're allowing the angels to come in and take place in our lives, to fight on our behalf, to intervene in any situation, to prevent disaster and danger from occurring. So this is why we're supposed to pray. I, I usually pray first thing in the morning. It's best that you will pray before you even start your day. You, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you open your eyes, this is what, what, what God is saying. When he gets you up to pray, when he gets you up to pray, you need to be obedient and put aside that time and pray to him because that will help prevent you from going through certain troubles. And, and I've noticed myself when I would be disobedient, when God would wake me up, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. I go back. Sometimes I would turn back down and like, Lord, it's too early. I'm, I just went to sleep and I would lay back down. And then all of a sudden when I didn't pray when I was supposed to, something would happen. And so, you know, the Lord kept showing me, hey, you, you pray when I tell you to pray. You prayed at me. This wouldn't have happened. And so I had to get into the mode of praying when God wanted me to pray. When he woke me up and praying right thing first thing in the morning. We're not supposed to wait till the problem happens. It's like you don't wait until there's an accident before you put on your, your safety measure. You're supposed to put on that prayer. Prayer is, 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 is your armor. Well, you know, you put on the whole armor of God. We said we put on prayer. <laughs> prayer is a part of our armor. It's like going out into battle. You're not going to go out into battle on a battlefield without being dressed in your armor. You have to be properly suited and equipped with your armor so you can be fully protected. And so we don't, when we don't have on our prayer, when we are not praying, we're missing part of our armor. So you cannot be effective 
against the enemy who's coming against you, the opposing army, if you're not fully equipped in prayer. We're supposed to pray in the spirit. A lot of times you don't know what's going on. You're supposed to pray in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will intervene on our behalf. The inter it will intercede for us. You're supposed to pray according to the word. There's many different ways to pray. We can pray from our heart. If God puts something in our heart, we can pray it. If we, we can pray according to the scriptures, you can start reading from the book of Psalm. I, I like to read from the book of Psalm, say my prayers. Sometimes you can find some scriptures, whatever situation you're facing in your life, if you're dealing with certain troubles, you find scriptures that correlate to whatever the problem is that you're facing and you pray according to that scripture or you can just pray in the spirit. You pray what God puts on your heart. When you take that time, God's going to put it in your spirit, what it is that you need to pray for, whether you need to pray for yourself, whether you need to pray for those around you, your family members, it will prevent you from facing trouble in the long run. We're not supposed to wait till the problem occurs. A lot of times, a lot of us who are going through these problems, if we were praying ahead of time, we're supposed to and praying to, to God on a constant basis, we wouldn't even be going through many of these problems. So it's time to start, you know, refocusing and resetting and, and get it in your mind where we're already conditioned to pray when something happens, pray when we want to so know we're supposed to pray before the problem comes, pray to prevent the problem, use prayer as a preventative measure. Just like you take your vitamins, just like you, you, you go to the hospital, you have your checkups, just like you put on your seatbelt when you get in the car, you're putting, you're doing these things to prevent something from occurring. So look at prayer as something that will prevent the enemy from coming to your life and done, doing what it is that he wants you to, what, the, what he wants to do to destroy you. We're supposed to be sober and vigilant because our adversary lurketh about as a lion seeking whom he may devour. The enemy is always trying to devour us. When we put on our prayer, this will prevent him from having his way with us.